Neon is the tenth element on the periodic table. And like helium, the element right above it, it is, to the best of our knowledge, completely inert. What this means is that it's not going to react with any elements on the periodic table. So, again, like helium, I can't do any cool chemical reactions with it, and instead I'm going to talk about some of its properties. It doesn't have that many uses, but one, but one of its few uses is a very well-known one. It's uh, in neon lights. Now, what neon lights are, they are just tubes of glass with neon it, with neon or other gases in, in the tubes, and a high electrical discharge is passed through the tube, which excites the atoms of gas, or in some cases molecules, uh, excites them so that the, en the electrons jump to higher energy levels, and then when they jump back down again, they emit photons of a certain wavelength. So for neon, this uh, wavelength, our eyes perceive it as orange-red light. So if you see orange-red neon lights, then you know that there is neon inside the light. If you see light blue neon lights, then it's probably helium or argon, and then darker purple ones are probably krypton or xenon, green ones are nitrogen, and so on. But if you see a nice orange-red one, it's probably neon. Here I'm at Quantum Camp, which is a place where they have great classes in math and science. And I was just there for some other classes and I was doing an independent research program. And I asked Michael, my teacher, if I could use discharge their discharge tube apparatus. Film. And a tube full of neon with a thousand volts running through it. And so here you can really see what I was talking about earlier, about the red light. And now I'm putting in dis a diffraction grating, which is a little thing with a bunch of lines through it. And I'm trying to get the camera to see the light split apart into its component colors. It wasn't really working. Uh, Michael tried later and it did work, so I'll show you that clip. But um, yeah, so here what we have is just a thousand volts running through this tube, exciting the neon, the atoms of the neon which bump the electrons to higher energy levels and when they go back down they emit uh, photons because they have to release their energy in some way and so they uh, release it by emitting photons of certain wavelength. But uh, here you can actually look at the individual pieces, uh, individual colors that make up this light if you use a diffraction grating. Here Michael's trying to get the diffraction grating to work and he does eventually. There we go.